Hello, welcome to SEMA 2023. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the biggest tool fair in America. No, we're not actually, we're in Bolton. We're in Bolton. It's bloody freezing. Turn around, cameraman, look at the snow. It's bloody March. Anyway, me being a big YouTuber, I've come to a tool fair in Bolton. So we're going to go in and check out all the stalls. Are they called stalls or booths, Simon? Booths. Booths, right, okay. Apparently, we're going to get a bacon sandwich and a free t-shirt, apparently. And, get this, there's a special guest coming in a bit. Can't say much more, but there's a special guest. I've already said that twice. Anyway, come on, let's get inside. Right, what, what the crack is, what the crack is, there's too many fucking sparky stuff here. So look at this, I'm at the weirer. This is all sparky stuff. All the red and yellow. Red and yellow stuff is all the insulated pliers and stuff like that. Well, check out this little thing. I know it looks like something from from like Star Trek. This is for the DIY um, market, and this is one of the members of um, Weira, one of the brother-in-laws or cousins, have gone off shot, off shot and started up a new company for, and DIY drill. These are only four volts, four volts little screwdriver at the back here. It's got a little um, ring like, that, lights, that lights up. And you can see that lighting up like that. That's got the torque settings like that. And that goes down to torque one and torque two. I don't know what, I think that's full bore. It's got a little, a lovely little, look at that little light ring there. I quite like it for putting together IKEA furniture. Anyway, come in, come in a little bit. Got a straight one here, similar sort of thing. That's got torque settings as well. And at the back here, check this little bit out the back. Check this little bit on you the pop back. pop it. Pop it? Oh yeah, there we go. Look at all the little bits. No, look, what I like about this is when it kind of comes out, it, they're at an angle. Oh, can you see that? So they're easy to get out. God, there we go. Back in. There we go. Okay. So this is the main wearer stand over there. And let's go and look at some other stalls. Right, here we are at the REM store looking at a, um, a press gun, but it's also a rod cutter. So this young man is going to give us a little demo. Go on then. Oh my God, let's have a look at the end. I think you get a nut on that. Yeah. No, no burrs, nothing. Bloody hell, good bit of kit. How do you say it, REMS? REMS, yeah. REMS. What, where are they from at REMS? Germany. Germany, bloody hell. So what's the model number of this bit of kit? This is the Accu Curbo. The what? Accu Curbo? Accu Curbo. Hang on, let me have a look. There we go. So it'll do copper, what else will it do? Copper, multi-layer, steel pipes. It'll do um, what? Black, a, black iron? It won't do black iron though. Up to three quarters, yeah. Oh, bloody hell. So we've got a bit of copper in. So it yeah. looks to me like it'll do a slightly yeah. tighter radius than like a normal plumber's bending machine. A 77 mil so, radius. Yeah, that, that looks so. a little bit smaller than it. Come on, we're going to have it go. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no kinks. That is impressive. The former's, what's this one? 20 mil for sparkies. It's got a glass fibre polymer. Is that right, isn't it? Glass fibre polymer, which you use on the special. It's very, very light. And apparently, according to the nice gentleman here, it moves, it kind of forms. When the pipe bends, it sort of flexes into the, into the pipe. Very impressive, but a very, very expensive tool. I'd love to have one. Right, we're over at the Z-Walk stall. The Yellow Peril. So what I've got here is a work light. Fucking hell, it looks like a like a fucking Dalek or summer. We're gonna turn it on, the man said don't look at it, but I'm gonna put my glasses on, see what happens. Come in, come in a little bit. We've got what's this what's this button for here? Yeah. Junking it. Connect to what though? To the app on your phone. Right, but how will that be able to control the light? So oh, the lumens. Bloody hell. Right, we're gonna turn it on. Nice. Is that on to the lower one there? 
That is really, really bright. That is impressive. For a Dewalt, for a Dewalt, that's a good tool. And come in, come in a little bit. I found a fidget tool for men. So if you're really bored and you're getting wound up by all the electrical stuff, you can see this little bit there. It's got that little bit that goes through, and you drop that lap through there. <laughs> and it's got a bit to. It's got a springy bit there to press, and it's got various. Look at that! It's, look at that! It's got spinny, bolty bits. Wow! It's got a Velcro bit on it as well. Hope you can hear me. And you know what I need to do? I need to get one of them proper mics. A friend of mine said that uh, my YouTube channel would go on a lot better if I got a haircut <laughs> and. I had a better mic. It's all about the sound, apparently. On sound quality. Sound quality. But anyway, the Weary. John, get on with it. Hang on a minute. It's not Weary, it's Vera. Is that Vera. right? Vera. Vera. You can call it Vera. No, no, Vera. And what this is, is a. I'm going to let this man say, what is it? It's a 19 piece interchangeable <laughs> screwdriver set. So. Comes in a nice, lovely presented 19 piece set. This is a chisel driver, though, so you can use it and abuse it, hit it with a hammer rather than destroying one of your lovely fairer screwdrivers <laughs> interchangeable is a strong magnet in there but you'll see there's a lock and an unlock feature here now what that is when it's in the lock position it's a fixed driver but if you come across a round, rounded or seized screw you can hit that in the lock position and that will redress the screw profile and then you just unlock that to the unlock position and each time you hit that, it's like an old school impact driver, so it puts a 25 newton meter quarter turn through it. There we go. That is impressive. Still at the Weirer stand, check out this weird adjustable spanner. It's got a range from 32 mil to 24 mil, or inch and a quarter to 15 sixteenths. Bloody hell. You see this with a thumb? You see how it opens the jaw like that? So if you just put that on the nut and then let go, when you turn this, it actually t tightens the two flats onto the nut. But then you can skip it backwards. It's a bit like a ratchet, but when you go backwards, it just slips around there. Amazing bit of kit. And also, if you're into a tight corner, let's see if I can do it. You can put on the, see them little grooves there? You can put that onto the, onto the sort of like the corners of the nut. Bloody expensive bit of kit, very, very smart. I think you can get various sizes. Only, this one is only adjustable for eight, eight millimeters different ranges of bolts. But you can get some other ones. You can get a smaller one there. And uh, there's a slightly smaller one here that'll go 24 to 19. So we're here at Solder sh Shoulder Sink. So this is Simon's gonna give a demo. You kind of go through it with him and show him how to do it. He's got paint all over behind. He's got paint, he's a, paint, he's a painter, painter, so yeah, yeah. what's he going to do? No, okay. Do. I, don't want to, I don't want to get anything on the tap, so... Okay, so we did push that forward. Two seconds of water. Yep. There's no soap on it now, but you just like yeah. act like you take the soap. A bit of soap? So, yeah. What's this? What's this? What is that? More so. You you put in whatever you like. That yeah. could be cream. That could be sanitizer. Okay. Uh, you, and what's this little center bit for? You put water in here. Oh, that goes in there. Yeah. And how, uh, how much water is capacity in that? It's 4.7 liters, but okay. it it runs relatively slow. Just yeah, yeah. enough for hand hygiene. Yeah, yeah. So it actually runs the same time uh, like a 10 liter canister. Right. But if you stop it during the hand wash, yeah. you actually get more performance. Okay. Th 35 hand washes, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 120 meters of paper. Right. Do you have to get a specific roll to fit in there? No, or? it's just a, a talk M1 system. You right. can get it on Amazon yeah, and yeah. Uh, different places. Yeah. And which is the, what's the strap that goes onto the back of the van? Is this part of it? Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you, you get one of these right. that you put on the back door, you yep. put on the racking. Yep, yep. Strap it on and then it's uh, good to go. Oh, man, heck. And are you going to tell me how much they retail for? Well, uh, the official price is 189 Yeah, yeah. Uh, but of course, uh, if you've got, got a few vans, so today we can do, do a little price off. For okay, you, yeah? all right. Sam is having another go. Look at that. We're supplying them for the Autobahn in Germany, for the civil defense, for lots of trades, construction companies in yeah. England, uh, in Denmark and Benelux, yeah? Wow. What do you think, Simon? 
Clean hands. Clean hands. <laughs> okay.